Greetings and salutations. This is I, the Man Green, with the Man Green is Gaming on YouTube. It is Saturday morning. Well, almost afternoon, because 10 till noon. Bringing you, I am bringing you everything. Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. It is Stormblood Saturdays. So, we're, we just uh, defeated the second primal. And we're going to continue on with the story here. We saw a little cutscene with Xenos and Fordona where he's going to enhance her to make her a better soldier. So we're going to see the outcomes of that in the continuing storyline here. So here we go. Oh, hey, I get an ether current. I can do. Sherlock. Skill speed. Vitality. Tenacity. Ooh, nice. What are these? Oh, stuff I can tell. Determination. Okay. You've done us a great service. This day, shall, long shall my sisters sing the praises of the Alcon Slayer. Let us bear word to Shira Lashiri's passing conference to Viranella. Alright. Wherever that is. Get on my horse. That must be that hometown that they live in. You're on time for you fools. Success. And your eyes confirm the testimony. The Lady of Bliss is no longer hold our clan sisters in her thrall. For this, we thank you. Kalzarok did the deed. We were but witnesses to his heroism. However, I fear this is only a beginning, for there is no cure for which drives of despair to beseech the gods for salvation. Should they wish to use the crystals to summon sheer she like tree? Again, not to be done to stop them. I mean, yeah, we'll have to come back and fight the hard mode. We ignore our sister's plight at our peril. This we know we shall endeavor to show them another path, so that day you speak will never come. Hopefully. We all end this together. All begins and Anita. Anita. We understand that. Hopefully in time they will too. You and yours will be Prince of the Vera. On that you have my word. We should get back to the Peering Stones. Thank you, so uh, so Sasha, for everything. Everything, girl. Everybody left. So. I have to go meet up with Monago. Now, nobody will slight pause here because I think a bathroom break.
All right, I'm back, folks. Let's stuck with Monago. I had to pee. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, and I have to apologize. I feel like kind of a re re. Uh, not the promo video, but the one before that. I thought I was plugged into my controller talking, and I was not. So I was sitting there talking and, and thinking I was recording my voice on that video, and then I felt the cord hang down. I'm like, oh crap. So, there you go. My dumb dumb moment right there, folks. Recorded live. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> Welcome back. Conrad and Marshall Turpin came to render aid, but I hear that won't be necessary. They won't. She locks me, he's gone, but I should probably start at the beginning. Yes, tell them all about it, at least. Incredible. I don't know what to say. If you hadn't been there at supper, who knows where it would have ended. You've saved a lot of lives, Calder. I'll take pride in that. It must be said, but there's something unpredicted. Un something of an unprecedented situation. Previous summings were, to my knowledge, planned well in advance by the tribes as a whole. Indeed, there are several aspects of this incident which bear the further investigation. In any event, they quantize supply of crystals must remain limited for the foreseeable future and ambient e levels closely observed. Understood. The Alliance will consult with the Resistance and the Vera on the, how to best enforce such or said restrictions. Thank you, Vice Marshal. To other monsters, then, what, is, what news of the Imperials? None of which yourselves are troubling. It seems, though, that the skulls and the remainder of the garrison have fully withdrawn into the peaks. We have seen neither hide nor hair of them since the uh, Bayola. Regardless of the situation, our path is clear. Father has decided that it is time to advance east. Finally. He also has the most empathetic that you are spared further duties of the present. You are to rest. He would not do for the warrior light to collapse from exhaustion during the march. We may not be, be as strong or as quick as him, but we are soldiers nonetheless. We can deal with the Imperials. Ah, you've earned this respite, so enjoy it. Same goes for you, Monago. You've been away from your family too long. Don't deny it. As you say, sir, thank you. We will make the most of our time here. special meal for this occasion and I have it on good authority that hers is the finest cooking in the side of Adela. Oh, cutscene. I'll be right back.
Our guests, I pray you partake of our humble offering, so we give thanks for your many valiant deeds. Thank you, sir, for this warm welcome. We are honored to break bread with you and your family. Come eat your fill of our food, drink deep of our spirits. There is more than enough for all. Well, when you put it that way, don't mind if I do. Mom's kind of hot. Monago's hot, but Mom's kind of hot, too. There we get a little mother-daughter action going on the old one. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, right? Okay, good. She wasn't kidding when she said her mother could cook. Hands off, Lise. Tibbs. You know, seeing her with her family, I couldn't help think of my own. And my father would come home with a hunt with dinner on his shoulder and yet I would prepare it with her herbs and spices. Our mother died when I was little, so she did most of the cooking. We didn't have much, but we had each other, and that was enough for me. But then they wouldn't let us even have that. Theodore, Gaius, and of course father and Yeda would have to fight. I would have to too, but if I'd been older. But they didn't have to die. No, they did not. It never is, does it? They call us beasts, and they treat us like them. They were pushed, and they push and push, and then they, until someone pushes back, until someone takes up arms and summons a god, a false god. If the dwarves are watching us, what are they thinking? Yeah, it's kind of true, like the Imperial Capital and all, all the Imperials, because they have that, they're all born with that third eye in the middle of the forehead, and they, they make it superior, make them superior, they think everybody else is like fucking savages. What are they thinking when they see the strong hurt the weak, when the people fight and die and nothing else gets better? It just goes on and on and on. It's true. There is no justice, just us. We'll have to, you'll have to ask some more silence. There is no justice, just us. I know. That's why we're here, isn't it? Thanks for listening. I know I was just rambling, but I feel better somehow. Who knows what the answers are, or even if there are any. Either way, life goes on and we gotta go. We got to go with it. Sorry, it sounds better in my head. I must be getting tired. Time to turn in, I think. Tomorrow's another day, eh? Let's see what it brings. Sleep well, Kazarak. What to say exactly? I mean, they're all kind of negative. Like, there is no justice. You have to go talk to them personally and then say nothing. I'm like, oh, okay, well, there is no justice. Huh? Alpha Node, what do you got for me, sir? There's something to be said about home cooked meal, is there not? Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. I must cherish those moments, fleeting as they are. The fight will always be there, waiting for us to return. conclude this quest and when we pick it up we will uh, start with the first of many quests that Afnode has. Until then folks, I will see you on the next one.